back in Lupron. Woo! Previously on Trio. Hey Trio Tribe, last time on Trio, Tyler from Sail Pending joined us and we had a slow but fun sail to Los Haitis National Park. <laughs> where we explored mangrove rivers and ancient caves with 500 year old carvings. This time on Trio, it's a nerve wracking and slightly dangerous night during our 24 hour sail from Samana Bay to Luperon. We're having one small problem. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Sunset's here, and we're halfway to. Back to Lupron! Back to Lupron. <laughs> yeah. It's been a wild ride. We've been averaging a nice seven up. It's pretty calm now. We're averaging. Is it? Is it calm? It's yeah. calm. <laughs> we're surfing down the waves. It's okay. It's nice now. Yeah, it's close. Pretty good. I'm moving. Hey, what were we doing? We were doing eight and a half knots before. That was crazy. Sun's going down. Yeah, it's a nice sunset. When's the last entry in the logbook? Are we behind? Uh, no. Cole's watching a movie on the floor because it was rough and it's... <laughs> you can press the light on the floor when it's rough. And the sun was on the screen. So that's it. That's the report before darkness sets in. We've got the jib in because we're running downwind, direct downwind. That one, one small problem. We had some wicked jives because we had 10 foot seas and 25 knots of wind and we had to go downwind and we flopped back and forth and our batten popped out. Heard of it happening to other boats, but not to us. So we're keeping an eye on it. The wind's still too strong at 22, 23 to bother turning into it and the wave's too big to turn into it to put it back in. So we're just gonna keep an eye. It hasn't moved at all since the seas have calmed. And uh, yeah, deal with it a little later. Winds are supposed to calm in about five hours anyway, around midnight. Alright, the next report will be a red light report. <laughs> or a pitch black one. Red light report, You know what I mean, it's a red light. Does that sound bad? <laughs> It'll be a dark report with the red light so you can see my face. So many people keep saying, we can't see you! Well, the red light is just about as hard on the night vision as the white light. It's better. But I don't like turning it on, so... In the cockpit. Inside, anyway, for whatever preference, that's my preference, so I'll turn on, say hi, and then I'm going to turn it off again. <laughs> All right, ciao. Krista says this is a carnival. This is our AIS, if anybody hasn't seen it before. Krista says there's a carnival cruise ship coming up. And that's it there, AIS information. Carnival Splendor, 948 feet by 138 feet wide, 27 foot draft. Heading to St. Thomas. Is it? Oh yeah, destination St. Thomas. And speed over ground, 19.6. So I guess we'll see a carnival ship in a few hours. Yeah. That'll be nice, it'll be all lit up. Yeah. It's always fun to go by a cruise ship at night. I think we're gonna be early to Lupron. I think we are too. There's the ship, there's carnival. Where are they going again? St. Thomas. They're going 20 knots, so I guess they'll get there tomorrow. It's a long ways. 
Twenty knots. What's the name? Carnival Splendor. Carnival Splendor. farther out, I'll end up losing it. I think it's only come out an extra foot, but accidental jibes don't help. You can hear all the waves are catching up to us and throwing us around. You can see they come up and they fill the sugar scoop, and they go sideways. There you go. See, it catches right up to us. They're that bit much bigger and that much faster than us, and we're doing eight knots. So it's messing around with the autopilot. It's hard to steer. Tried hand steering. <laughs> That's almost useless. It's just way too hard. Autopilot does a way better job. It's a good thing we have a really good Raymarine hydraulic autopilot. If anybody wants to know the make, give me a shout. All right. That's the update. At this point, the seas are large and the wind is about 25 knots and both are following. We've had three accidental jibes and they were getting dangerous. They took us completely broadside to wind and wave. Why was this happening? It just didn't make sense. Not until a few weeks and a few hundred miles later did we realize that we had lost a rudder. We believe we had an underwater collision with what we think was a slightly submerged wreck. When a really big one catches up with us, it pushes the rudders from behind and we make a big course change and then that's when we start to jive and that's when the autopilot can't handle it. The collision had completely sheared off our starboard rudder and now we found ourselves sailing in heavy conditions with just one rudder. But remember, Saltair 3 is a catamaran big fast waves. and redundancy Crazy. is a lifesaver. We're doing eight knots right now and the waves are keeping up while well, catching up and filling the sugar scoop. We sped up, we're doing eight and a half knots now, so the waves must be about eight knots. So when we drop down to seven, six and a half, seven, that's when they really start to mess with the rudder. Although that one just threw us sideways. Yeah, eight and a half knots we're doing right now. Just ripping. When we calculated today's voyage on five knots per hour. Cole's in watching a movie. Mm, it's got the cabin light on, but it doesn't bother me out here. So if you watch this part right here, you can see how much we are weather, weather helming. The tiny little number in the top. So our course is set for 305. And we're showing 305 now up in the corner here. 301, 300. A few minutes ago it was 298 all the way up to 320. There's 298. 304, 37, 310, 315, 316, 317, 18. So there's 320. So it goes 321, 322, 326. Oh my god. So we go from 300, oh there's 330. Oh my god. 332 all the way down to 298. 
So 34 degrees, the waves are throwing us around from left to right. And the auto helm is compensating for that. I wonder if I turn this light off, if it'll be better. Oh, and there we go, I lost it, gotta go. Okay, well that sucked royally. Big gust came and a course wind changed its direction and it got behind us which caused the accidental jive and the rudder couldn't handle it and we just did a complete a complete circle. Turn off my light. Anyway, that's super annoying. I don't know what to say about that. I gotta go, that sucked. <laughs> So there's eight knots, I just saw 9.2 as we surfed down a gigantic wave. I added degrees onto our course <clears throat> so I don't end up going through another stupid jive. It's hard to run downwind with these massive waves, especially in the dark. <clears throat> but 310 is going to take us about 50 miles off course by the time we get there in the morning. Which I guess isn't that big of a deal, it just means 8 hours of pounding into the waves though, or yeah, 8, 50 miles, 40 miles, 5 knots, 8 hours, yeah, adds on about 8 hours by going this far off course, <clears throat> and I know we'll have to pound into the waves to get in, so, I'm trying to trim as much as I can off, so that I don't have to pound into it, in the morning, but it's not working out very well, it's just too challenging, I'll go and check and see if my batten is still where it's supposed to be. Yeah, looks the same. I hope. It's those stinking waves that keep catching us. These rollers are massive. Wow, they're throwing the boat around. I've got one engine on because the batten fell out of the main and ripped a hole in the bimini. The batten fell out of the main. And another one came loose, so I took it out. Screws weren't in tight enough, apparently, when they put the new mainsail on. So now we're just surfing down these massive waves with the jib sail out and the port engine so that we can have some uh, control. Without the port engine, we wouldn't have any control. Wow, I'm tired. It's almost midnight and the waves just don't want to get any smaller. In fact, I think they're getting bigger. Poor autopilot's just getting thrown around. I can't hand steer, it's just crazy. The waves gotta be 12 feet. And then we just can't keep course. They're just so big, they just throw us everywhere. Eight more hours. What you doing? A few hours earlier, while still in darkness, we almost made the decision to head for shore. But there are a few safe spots on the north coast of the DR. Instead, we dropped the mainsail and fired up the other engine. This gave us a little more control. The seas eventually calmed some. We reset the main and we arrived early in Lupron to a gorgeous morning. We were all safe, but we still had no idea that we were operating with just one rudder. How's it going, hon? Good. What do you got going on there? Making breakfast, cause we have a new tradition with our friends on sale pending. After a long passage, we do brunch when we get there. Nice. To celebrate our arrival. So what are you gonna put in there? So I got sort of a ham hash, but I'm gonna make it with rice. Got the rice going in here. And then I'm gonna um, put some fried eggs on top. Yum. Yeah. Look forward to it. Me too. Beautiful day it's turned out to be. Cheers, 
<laughs> that was awesome. Home sweet looper on. Such a nice feeling coming back to somewhere you've been. Oh, I'm looking forward to a calm sleep here. Wow, it is packed in here. There's lots of boats. And here comes Popo. What's the depth in this area? Buen día. Bien, gracias. Todo bien. Todo bien. How long you stay here? A couple of weeks. Okay. Clean, got to clean, clean the water, you know? Yeah, see. Sí. You betcha. Yeah, you let me know. So everything you need, you let me know. Of course. Okay. Okay. Well guys, that's it for this episode of Trio Travels. Thanks for watching, but stay tuned because in a few weeks we set sail for Cuba. And hey, if you feel like dropping a tip into our Patreon tip jar, visit patreon.com forward slash Trio Travels and maybe send us a little extra love. Woo! Made it. Made it. Cheers. Yes. So long. Nice. Putting the final touches on. Yep. Oh, I'm starving now. That's I know. Awesome. Yo. Awesome. Right. Yep. Have another yep. one in here. Wow. See that? What all you got in there? Cheese, corn, rice. Rice. Onions. Onion. Ham. Green pepper. Or sorry, not green pepper. Green onion. Red pepper. Red pepper. So here we are in Lupron, on board sail pending. Our good friends Richard, Tyler, and Christy. For our brunch tradition, check out this spread. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. You look inside the pocket for sale. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Good reward. <laughs> I know. Hey guys, just wanted to say thanks for subscribing to our channel. We'd love it if you would share, help us grow. And if you're inspired by our videos, maybe you'd consider supporting us a little on Patreon. Every little bit helps, keeps the movies coming. Thanks guys. <laughs>